In this video, we are going to learn how you can send data from Microsoft Excel to MySQL database automatically. So the idea here is that you are adding some data to your Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. Now you want that whenever a new data is added to your Excel spreadsheet, automatically the same data should be added to your MySQL database table as a new row. For that, you need to integrate MS Excel with MySQL. So here your trigger application would be MS Excel and your action application would be MySQL. So how you can integrate both these software applications using Pabli Connect, for that you need to come to my screen. So welcome to my screen. Here let us type P-A-B-B-L-Y, Pabli.com in our browser. This is a website of Pabli. Here we have to come to products and click on Pabli Connect. This is a landing page of Pabli Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free button and you can create your own account in just 2 minutes. And by creating a new account, you are going to get free task every month. If you are already a user of Pabli Connect, simply click on sign in. I'll just click on login from here. In the all apps section, come to Pabli Connect and click on access now. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that come to this plus sign and click on create workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as Microsoft Excel to MySQL integration. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens. Action means do this. So in this particular use case, we want that whenever we add some data in our Microsoft Excel uh, spreadsheet, automatically the same details should be added to our MySQL database also. For that, first we need to integrate Microsoft Excel with Pabli Connect. So simply open this trigger window and here choose the application name as Microsoft Excel. Select the trigger event as new row in worksheet. Click on connect, click on add new connection and click on connect with Microsoft Excel. Now it is asking let this app access your info. So I'll just scroll down and click on yes to give away the access over here. Authorization successful. And now the Microsoft Excel account is connected to Pabli Connect just because I was already logged into my Microsoft account. So make sure before creating a connection, you're logged into your Microsoft Excel account. Now here we have to select the workbook. So as we have created a connection between Microsoft Excel and Pabli Connect, here we can find all the workbooks that we have created in my Microsoft Excel account. Okay, in the drop down, we can find all the spreadsheets or the workbooks. So here I have already created a workbook named Candidates Data. Okay, and here you can see the sheet name is candidates. So now I want to link this particular spreadsheet with Pabli Connect. So here I have to select the same spreadsheet or the workbook name candidates data. Now as I have created a single worksheet in this particular spreadsheet named candidates, it is automatically captured over here. Okay, if you have created multiple worksheets from the drop down, you have to select your specific worksheet name. Okay, now before clicking on save and send test request, first we are going to add a data in our uh, Excel uh, spreadsheet over here. Let's add the name as demo name, email address as demo at the rate pablitudes.com. Let's enter the phone number over here. And let us give the status of the candidate as hired. Okay. So we have entered the details. Okay, I'll just maximize the size of this email address also. So here we have entered all the details of the candidate, name as demo name, email address, phone number, and the status as height. Now let's move back to Pabli Connect. And now we are going to click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we can see the responses received and all the details related to the candidate data that we have entered in our Excel spreadsheet is captured over here. When we scroll down, here we can find all the details, name as demo name, email address of the candidate, his mobile number, status as hired. Okay. Now here I want to give you an important information that here you can see that the data has captured immediately. But sometimes it may take some time in capturing the data as the trigger here is polling based. So if your data doesn't get captured immediately, don't worry about that and please wait for 15-20 minutes patiently, the data will surely arrive. 
okay and here also it is mentioned that this particular trigger will check for new data in every 8 hours okay so now we want to send this particular candidate's data to our mysql database for that we have to connect mysql account with public connect so open this action step and here choose the application name as mysql select the action event as insert row click on connect click on add new connection and now here it is asking for the database username database password so here you have to enter these details the username and your password now here you have to enter the host and in the instruction is also mentioned enter your mysql host name example xyz.example.com and make sure it is accessible from this particular ip address okay note local host and 127.00.1 uh, are not valid okay so here you have to enter your actual host then here you have to enter your database name and the port okay so i'll just take you to my mysql database okay here we can find the host name so here you can see that my host name is localhost you have to enter your actual host over here in public connect okay and here you can see that the database name can be accessible from here okay so you have to just copy this database name and here itself you can find the port also so here you have to enter the database as well as the port and here you have to enter the username and the password of your database and once you have entered all these details simply click on save to create a connection okay as i have already created a connection i'll just choose this option that is select existing connection and i'll click on save and now my sql database account is connected to public connect now as we have created a connection here we can find all the tables that i have created in my my sql account okay that is candidate details digital ocean and payment status so now i want all the data to be entered into candidate details table so i'm selecting the same table name over here even you can find the same table name over here also as candidate details okay now here we have to give the candidate name email address phone number status so we have already got all these details from our trigger response over here so we will be mapping this data now let's scroll down and for mapping simply click it over here come to microsoft excel trigger response and from here we are going to map the name so let us find the name that is demo name in the same way we'll be mapping the email address so this was the email address okay we have to map the text one in the same way let us map the phone number and here we have to map the status okay so we have mapped all the details now we have to click on save and send test request okay and here we can see that the response is received and here we have got the status as success data inserted id as 5 it means the data is inserted into a mysql database table let's check it we have to just refresh our mysql account okay and here we can find candidate id as 5 name as demo name email address phone number as well as the status as hired so in this way we can see that our integration is working fine Let's move back to public connect and let us save this workflow first data save successfully okay now we are going to check this in the real time that whether our integration is actually working fine or not for that i'll just move to my excel spreadsheet and here i'll be entering the details of some other candidate let's give the name of the candidate as dummy name let's enter the email address as dummy at the rate publictutes.com and here i'll be entering the phone number so let's give the phone number over here and this time i'm giving the status as offered okay so we have entered the details now we have to check our mysql database table we have to just refresh it and even after refreshing we can't find the candidate details added to our mysql database table just because i have already informed you that the trigger here is polling based and it will take time to capture the response so here we have to wait for some time now it's almost three to four minutes let us refresh our mysql database table one more time okay and here we can see that a new candidate detail is added candidate id as six name as dummy name email address as dummy at publitudes.com here we can find the phone number and here we can find the status as offered this time so in this way we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine and 
whenever we are adding the details of any of the candidates in our google sheet automatically the same details are getting added to our mysql database table over here so let's move back to public connect and i'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now so first we have created an integration between microsoft excel and public connect so that all the details of your candidates are captured over here in public connect and using those details we have inserted the same data into a mysql database table and in this way, we have created a successful integration between Microsoft Excel and MySQL using Public Connect. Thank you. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using Public Connect. In case of any queries, you can visit our Public Forum. To check the pricing details of Public Connect, you can visit this particular URL. Also, the link of Public Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.